Podcast like this. Right, let's check it, check it, check it. This is a unique house. It's your boy ECO, and I'm with the lovely, amazing, <laughs> official Mr. Maker. What's going on? Nothing, nothing, you know, my dad walk on. Man, check it, man. Hey, man, we got a guy here, y'all. Y'all know this, man. He here, guys. Hey, man. And this nigga gonna freestyle today. We already <laughs> know it. Just one of the coldest niggas when it comes to that freestyle, babe. We ain't doing no Gotta be in this. <laughs> gotta be in the building. Ah, uh, Spinner, what it do? What's going on, man? Hey, how y'all living? Man, thank you for coming back, man. Thank you for coming back, blessing the platform, man, helping sure. us keep going, man. Sure, show home, right? Man, here. man thank home. you, man. It's we appreciate home. it, right? Yes, sir. We, sure. you know, you know, man, Dallas, man, Dallas has been in an uproar, man. Uh, when you look at all of the different things that have been going on around, man, the internet, the bloggers, everything been popping off, to be honest with you. Then you got the music. Uh, Yellow Beezy got a, a song that he done put out called Badass Yellow Boy. <laughs> I ain't seen the nigga. He been on No Jumper. He been on, uh, 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 what, what's that other one? The white boy Kevin Kev or whatever. I don't even know that nigga. And then he went on Gilly the Kid. I guess Boss Talk ain't big enough for the nigga. I'm here. We, we but we're coming for the nigga. I have to say that way. I had to say that way. I had to say that with you on there. You remember last time you was on here, I called him out. I always call him out, baby. Stop. Uh, Stop. <laughs> nah, but it's it's love, bro. Like, like I love seeing the movement. I've been a fan of not only I, I love the way he his music his cadences all the way back to uh, Trapping Designer mm -hmm. uh, Stevie Wonder all of those different songs man you know so and I know you I know you already cause last time you defended his honor when you was on here you were like man he be busy man he gonna come maybe he gonna come he might not come that's why he ain't gonna come <laughs> But it don't matter, like I told you, man. As long as I get got you coming, all, I'm happy. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yellow coming, man. <laughs> my dad coming. Say, man. So, I got a question. Go ahead. You know, I see all your tattoos. And one thing I'm always curious about, why would you tattoo your face? Oh. Okay. All my tattoos mean something, so you know. I know, but the position of where it is means something, too? Yeah. Like certain spots, I just put them there. So why did you put that one above your eyebrow? I want to know. Because, you know, no matter what, when I wake up in the morning, I look at it, you feel me? And that's one thing I'm going to always do, no matter what. And what does it say? It say like maintain. So no matter what I'm doing, I'm maintain. You know? Okay. And I see. So I put it there. Okay. Cool. Wow. You know, um, you basically, you left here last time, dropped me a hell of a 16, man. I enjoyed it, to be honest with you. Thank you for blessing the platform. Sure. Uh, you are uh, one of those guys, man. Like I said, last time <laughs> I didn't I didn't really speak on it, really. You know, a lot of people compare your style to other people. I just say it like that. <laughs> I ain't going to really just go there. But at the end of the day, what makes you different than the other people that they compare you to. That's where I'll ask that, okay. right? Uh, I, I, a lot of people don't, a lot of people don't live in, you know, rap. You feel what I'm saying? Like, rap what they do every day. Make music, like live and then go to the studio and rap about it, you feel what I'm saying? So that's one thing with me, like, everything that I rap about, every song that I ever made was something like actually, like ever happened. Like that shit really happened. That's what we really doing. You know, so that's what made me different from a lot of people because a lot of people got a good imagination. My imagination is trash. I ain't even going to lie to you. Right now, working on this tape was kind of difficult because right now I'm at a very chill moment in my life. You feel me? You know, I'm handling family business, you know, right. tying up loose ends and, you know, just. And it was kind of tough because I'm not rapping about the same street shit that I used to rap about. You feel me? So. You know. What's the difference between the gun I'm easy that's sitting here today and the one that was in the back? I seen you in the back of a car rapping one time. I seen you just. Uh, what's the <laughs> difference between those two guys? Because that was a early gun I'm easy. Uh, that means that they had no love. Uh, this means they got a lot of love now, like for us and family, you know. Yeah, like real family, you know. I got a baby on the way. Wow, congratulations. You know. Yeah, so I got real people who really actually love me. Back then, it was just like, hey, nigga, if you lose your life, you lose your life. I, you know, hey, it is what it is. Wow. How but hard is people. it to stay on this path? Oh, it's tough. 
I ain't even gonna lie. It's real tough. The corner call me every day. I ain't even gonna lie. Like I can like, imagine because especially when you're used to a certain lifestyle, the way how you were before, and that came easy because that was you for how many years, and now that you're trying to change, and you know the devil come at you in so many different ways every single day because they want you to go back that way. For sure. How, like, what do you do to calm yourself down because so that you don't go back that way? You all know the truth. The truth. I play more to come back. I ain't even gonna lie. Like on some real shit. Like that's the God honest truth. So you take a young girl out on I be in the game. Pissed games. off. Like I be like my mind I go to racing and it's like usually when my mind go to racing, I smoke weed. You feel mm-hmm. me? Cause I love weed. I you know but I can't smoke weed. So it's like damn me, what you gonna do? Then I'm on the leg one but I can't just take out walking. You feel me? It's only I can only go so far. You feel mm-hmm. me? So it's like what you do? I ain't fucking with the music in my head right now. Like, I don't even want to hear no beats. You feel me? Or my attitude just that bad. Man, let me see this. Man, let me see this fucking stick. I be kicking ass on that hoe. Bitch, bitch, bitch. I'm going off. You feel me? I'll play that game for like an hour. I ain't even going to lie. Just, and you feel just, better when you get done? When I'm through, I can go in there and come and say with baby. Like, baby, look, I was mad. I'm sorry. I apologize. Look, I was wrong. You know, I shouldn't have said that. You feel me? Ooh. Yeah, it helped me. I ain't gonna lie. And she know that when you start playing the game, she need to really stay away from you because you at that point. Nah, she will still come. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know. It's just that's just my way to fucking help. You know, that's my way to help myself. You feel me? Mm-hmm. But she don't give a damn. She still swinging, fighting, cussing. Yeah. Cause right. you know that there gonna be a time when somebody <laughs> else, other than her, pisses you off, and you're not gonna have that game. Oh yeah. And she 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 see she helped me in a lot of different ways, but. I ain't gonna lie, the way she helped me be aggravating ways. You feel me? Yeah. But you at least you recognize I get it. at least you recognize it's help. Yeah, for sure. And 100%. that's good. I recognize it hundred percent. Don't be over there laughing. He laughing because he know. Yeah. He just saying. See, y'all know exactly way. what I'm going through. That's you feel why me? he over there laughing. Hey. Wow. Because women and men are totally recognize different. The help, man. And the way in which and the funny thing is that we mean it a certain way. Like we women can talk and we understand how we mean it. But to y'all, it's aggravating. Y'all feel like we nagging you, we you this, we that. And, but we only doing it because we love you. Yeah. We want you to but right now, you doing it because you love me is not what I'm processing in my mind right now. I'm really processing get the fuck away from me before I kick <laughs> your ass. You feel me? But, hey, you know. Yeah, hey, man, you know, relationship goes, man. You know what I'm saying? I love the, I love the fact that, you know, love is in the air. You know, thank you so much for everything you do for though. me. I really be trying. Because, like, back then, I really didn't try. I really didn't care. Like, yeah. That, that, that boy, that boy that was yeah. in that back seat, because that was a little boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, he went hard, though. He went hard, yeah. But he was lost. Yeah. He didn't have no love. He didn't have no, no real family around him. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know. What made you change? She made me change. How, okay, she made you change, but how long did it take her? Cause she, I see a picture on um, on IG, she been down with you when you were locked up. Uh-huh. So how long did it take her to get through to you to have you change? Because I'm sure it didn't take overnight. She, she still she still got a hammer and her nails out working on me. You feel me? I'm still a nigga. Her and God. They both. She got one side, God got the other side. They working. But, you know, it didn't happen overnight. Nah. Mm-hmm. Hell nah. You know? But I am changing. It's because I love her, you know? When you really love somebody, it's like, it's like they say, ah, yeah, you gonna, he will change if you really love somebody. But when you really love somebody, it's like. You want to change. Be a better person. You want to get us the love that they giving you. You want to get the same love back. You feel what I'm saying? That's good. So it's like it's like it's like it, it comes to the point of your life. Well, when you gonna be real? You feel what I'm saying? When you gonna say, hey man, you know what? I'm gonna give everything. Everything I give for somebody, that's what I'm gonna give to them. You know? And if they giving me a thousand percent, why not give them a thousand percent? Feel what I'm saying? So why would I give her a thousand percent? I mean, why would why would she give me a thousand percent? and I give her five hundred and fifty. That's good. It only makes for a better unity anyway. Yeah, for sure. Unity in the community. That <laughs> way. Man, so, I mean, you know, what was different about this project, the new project? What is the new project called? Let me look here. All Eyes on Me. All I, that's the one we talked about last time. I thought it came out already. Uh-uh. That's it. For real? And it's coming out on Friday? Friday. Hey, it's been that whole better, That whole, how many tracks on it? Twelve. 
Man, how long was it? About two minutes and 20 seconds. Uh, All right, right no way. Quit. You got Quit. inspiration from Tupac? Yeah. Yeah. I like I like at that point of t- at the at that point of time. You know these tracks, all eyes on me. Is it, you 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 know you that sounds like a Tupac slogan, man. Mm-hmm. I, I mean you 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 already had in your mind when you was locked up that you was gonna do that one. Yeah. Okay. And these tracks though, they was inspired outside of there though. Once you came home, some of them. All of them was. All of them, that's what I thought. You, you, you know, you did rap and that, but it was more. Oh, no, one of them. One of them is uh, more of a, you know, like the prison feel. That was the idea she gave me. She was like, somebody was like, uh, I mean, baby was like, um, I think you should help people understand, you know, the state of mind you was in. Yeah. And, yeah. and the growth. They can see the growth. That's the main thing. People want to see because so many people who've been locked up, and they had to go through the same things that you're going through now mentally sure. and then now physically. Yeah, some people who can't survive out here, they do dumb crap just to go right back because they can't survive in this world. All they know is prison. Sure. You know what I mean? So here, and that's what we were talking to someone earlier, that people do what they hear. Yes, what they see too, but because so many people listen to rap, they emulate from that that. Music, as much as music is your therapy, it's a lot of other people's therapy because they can relate to what you're going through. Sure. And it depends on, you might be a, a state in your life where they're not yet. They're where you used to be a year ago. So, sure. But because they see where you're going, they're like, man, I can do it too. I tell everybody who rap, put motivation in there because you don't know who you might have. Even if it's a little bit, put some... Spoken words, some motivation just to help somebody. You can wow. say all your other stuff, but put a piece in there. You don't know who it might help. You know what I mean? A, 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 a thousand percent, for sure. You, when you when you, when you came home, what was what were what were what are your intentions? We we're now in the fourth quarter, about to be. Mm-hmm. Uh, you got the holidays coming up. You know what what. What did you envision when you knew you was coming home? And I know you got kids. I know you got family. But what was what was your thoughts? Because I want to take it there. Because I, I I know already you thought about these things when you when you locked up. You think about things because you you have time to think. Sure. So what was the thing that you you wanted to make sure that you stayed true to when you came home? Care. Okay. Just whatever she whatever we we rocking this out. That's it. And that's your focus. My focus. That's real. That's real. What did she do to prove herself to you? You, you, you. I, Miss Jamaica, you don't know me. You feel me? Like we wasn't. We're not in the same neighborhood. You feel me? So you don't know how I was raised. You know how I grew up. You feel me? Let so, us in know. because that's what I want. My fans, they're now seeing a new side of you. Uh, um, for instance, the little boy in the back seat. Mm-hmm. I mean. I went through a lot of shit, like a lot of a lot of shit, and it's different when you actually share like your history with somebody and they take it and embrace it and careful, you know, and protect it. You feel me? Because most people take your history, you know, use it, use it against it. you and damage it, and you know, and it it, it it can hurt you and and you know put you in a bad place. But she didn't do that to me, you know. And all my life. It, with my friends or anybody I was ever cool with or anything like, they I could tell them like, hey bro, that's what I'm going through, you feel me? And it was always a joking matter or, you know, hey, ooh, ooh. But when I actually came out and said, hey man, look, hey, it's fucked up for me right now, you feel me? And she came in, she gave me an umbrella, you feel me? Mm, mm. Yeah. I, I like that. I just, with Dallas, man, is is it, again, you know, last time I, I I may have mentioned Dolph or whatever, but now you know it hits close to home, man. Just a, not even a week ago, Strap, uh, he was he was uh, gunned down, you know, inside Dallas. Um, like, what? Did you even know him? Did you know Strap? Yeah, fuck a Strap. What Good nigga? What was uh? What goes through your mind when something like that happens? That's cold. Like, I ain't. I ain't. You know, when you know somebody, and you you know you you got a relationship with them, you know, and they leave. You know, it's life, but at the same time, it's like, damn, you never would have thought you wouldn't see that person again. Not that person, you feel me? Yeah. You know, cover niggas, other niggas. Yeah, I know you was gonna die, nigga, but that person, nah. 
it was kind of cold, you know. That's why I why I kind of like um, um, if it ain't business, I ain't dealing with it. You know, if it ain't if it ain't money, I ain't dealing with it. If it ain't, you know. What was what was something that you and Strap talked about? Did y'all ever have conversations, or did you just meet him on the music tip? How did you guys even know each other? That's how we met on the music on the music tip. tip. Yeah, you know he knew of me. You know what I'm saying from back then, you know. Bumping to each other, it's some of his people know, some of my people, you know. So I just told him to stay focused, you know. Shit, he told me the same thing. Keep running, bro. Keep running, and it's gonna pop. You know, I, I know I'm gonna see you at the top. We used to always tell each other this shit too. Like, hey, bro, I know I'm gonna see you there, bitch. I'm gonna see you there. Yeah, I'm gonna see you there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know he was going. And being so young, he was only twenty. So young, I love that everyday four twenty nigga song that he had done. I thought that was one of the most dopest songs when he came on my platform. I was like, man, that that's it right there. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, man, and I told him, I said, you, like, he had a style. I was like, man, you like a little baby or something. Remember I told him, man? Mm -hmm. I was like, I, I just, out of everybody <laughs> that I interviewed, I knew this nigga could rap. Yeah. Like not just not freestyle, not like when I think of you going for it, and just gonna put a project together and it sound good. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. I, that's what I looked at with him. Yeah. And I I had called a check on him before the end. You know what I'm saying? We text each other through the DM or whatever after the. Uh, uh, one time for sure I remember and but the thing I always would tell him man is about like like when I went back if you see the interview I always talk about God because I know where I come from yeah. and God didn't put me in this seat not to even bring him up when he done blessed me look I've been here 15 years my wife and me been married 20 years man so when I see somebody like y'all, I show love. You know that, and it's like real. It's sure. like like yeah, nigga. Sure. Like I get to see my home. I'm gonna give you hell. We are gonna have a good time, yeah. and then we gonna you know what I'm saying. That's yeah, that's sure. what it's all about. But then to lose somebody, and you don't tell them about God. I can't sit in this seat. I can't do it, bro. And that ain't the first. It's been three since I've been doing this a year and some. That passed away. That passed away, and it's crazy. So I always be. I feel a certain type of way about it. You know what I'm saying? Because I know God, this is my ministry to talk to y'all when I get in here to talk about God or say, hey, man, I've been through there. I've been through. I'm here. I'm an old nigga, but I made it through, bro. Like, hey, man, you know, make sure you keep him in your life. Because if it wasn't for him, I'd have crashed out back then, too. For real. And I was out there in them streets. Well, you know, if you got the key, you better use it. That's it. That's it. That's it. And God give you the key. You better use it. Better use it, so man. My, my next question is, I see you were in that music necklace right yeah i like it and when i think about um pmb who when he they they said they were trying to steal his necklace oh, when in he california. was in california that just happened about he two was there ago. you you know about the case right yes, ma he was there roscoe's eating with his wife or girl or whatever and the dude came in and just shot him and was trying to steal his stuff um how careful are you when you go out maybe not even to be live or because people do drop watch, a location, pe drop a location. So. People do be watching people on social media. That's how a lot of people get murked or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because people be watching their Instagram, Snapchat. I mean everything. Because people be putting stuff out there, especially when they're traveling. For sure. Because they want everybody to see. It. And what discussions do you have with your wife to say, "Hey, don't be doing this. Don't be doing that. You already know I'm out here like that." When I say out of here, I don't mean on the streets or nothing like that, but I'm talking in the music industry. People yeah, are reputation. seeing me. Yeah. I'm in people's eye. People might look and be grudgeful or, you know, whatever. How Do you have those discussions with her? Uh, and how do you move? A lot of, all the time. And at first, it was kind of like I'm comfortable to her because she's so used to being, you know, regular. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But as we started going out and she seen, you know, different situations and you know she got to being you know more you know, aware aware of you know what to do and what not to do and how to move and how not to move you know and even with me when i'm you know slipping she be hey nah not hurt you tripping oh yeah you right you feel me and it's actually that's why i say it's a good thing that you know you can have somebody who who just like you and have your back because I, once you do tell them that they are it, it, they they wear all the way around the board. You feel me? And it always happens. No matter where you go, no matter where you be, they always gonna have you back. You feel me? So, well, so. you you want like I said, the one thing I, I'll say is you are a uh, a, a guy that's seen like you was rapping early on, 
and the blogging and the interviewing process and the people that were doing this before when you was when you was rocking wasn't as predominant now as they are. Nah. And and like 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 how are you capitalizing on these movements as far as the way you promoting this project? I I mean shit, I really I really don't cuz I don't be like in tune with the bloggers and shit like that cuz a lot of them hate me. You feel me? But Ooh. I really don't give a fuck. Niggas better you know not be hating you. But you know, Ooh, I really nah, don't, don't say the name. I but. really don't. I really don't. You know what I'm saying? I don't be paying attention to this shit. I just drop. I just do me. Honestly, I'm just keeping it real. Like I don't be worried about people. I don't worry about what a, what another nigga got going on or whatever a blogger say or whatever they try to. I don't worry about none of that. They been trying to ex me out since I came into rapping in Dallas. You feel me? Ever since I started rapping in Dallas, they been trying to ex me out. You feel me? So, you know, ain't nothing they can do to me now. You feel me? I'm, I'm straight. Yeah. Well, the, the the one thing that 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 I I would say um, is uh, basically when you when when you out here promoting this thing, if you need me for anything, <laughs> no no real talk like this this is it right here. Like we can come, we can do it tomorrow, nigga. Well, what we gonna do? I mean, we set back up, rap, whatever, whatever we oh, got. I thought there. you meant like for like, promotions, whatever. Oh, I thought you said the bloggers they come in, you were gonna pull your piss down. No, nigga. <laughs> I thought that was you said. You said when I need you, call no, me. No, not said. like that. No, oh, I nigga. Th- yo, my bad. I'm I talking about we gonna <laughs> promote the music, you know, nigga. I we can't. trying to blow, nigga. I- you trying to blow Not like that. <laughs> I'm trying to say what you're on. Like, no, what's the play? No, no, no. You we said just, call you. Yeah, when the, if we when wanted, the, no, we, we trying to promote the music. You got this nigga crazy, right? Man, he out of control, man. <laughs> I thought you would. I was no, taking boss man, talk. No, too man. Man. I, I, I boss talk. Boss talk don't mean I that. Boss talk me. We trying to. Yeah, we, we shoot gonna, the video. We gonna video. We gonna pay for you. Look, we gonna love you. Out of control. Out of control. No, man. So, so, what do you think? What's the? How do you plan to push and market this this project? Because, like I said, you got you do have outlets out here. You 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 do you can make press runs. You will there be how many how many visual? How important is the visuals now compared to when you were first doing your music before you got locked up? I feel like people don't listen to music no more. They see it. You feel me? Okay. So. If they can see the music, they can like the music. You know, yeah. you give them something to look at, they'll like it. You know? Yeah. As far as and if you just give them a picture with a song, you know, it might go hard. Oh, they might fuck with it. But yeah. It'll be a little bit more better to them if you put the video with The it. video, okay. Okay. Yeah, so. Yeah. We're going to uh, grind it out. Uh, that, that's, and, and so, are you, um, are you, are you, you you good with everything? Cause you know how when you get through the project, you be like, man, I don't know, should I add it this? Should I add it? Are you good? Absolutely good with this project? Nah, <laughs> <laughs> nah, I ain't even gonna lie. Like like I've been going back and forth with management for like a week and two. Like, uh, but they like, nah, they just want they. Did. I'm like, nah, that ain't what I wanna do. Like that ain't that shit. But people so they love my music so much. When I did like present it to him, like, hey, look, here go 15 songs, y'all pick out 12, you know, you know, drop all eyes on me. When I did give it to him, it was like, oh, you feel me? And I'm like, this ain't the best music, you feel me? This just, you know, I'm I'm loading up, you feel yeah, me? It's, yeah, t- yeah. it's time for me to drop, so I'm loading, you feel me? So y'all can take that if I want to, like, oh, we finna put this out on the 30th. I'm like, that ain't really, I got, I can give y'all some more shit, like some little extras. Nah, we want this. So like nah, I don't think I, I'm not a hundred percent. I say I'm probably like like eighty five. Are all the songs named after like songs from Tupac? I was I was headed that way. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I was headed that way, but it didn't work like that. It Why? Didn't, it Why didn't you come out it? like that? Um, cause I started getting beats from different producers. Okay. You feel me? So it was like. And as I started going, and I didn't write none of this music, so like I just went straight in, and, like punched in. I, yeah, I didn't write a song. Is, is, song. is any of these incomparable to uh, Many Men or any of the first ones you did when you first got out, like After the Rain? Nah, they actually different. They actually different, different sound, different, you know, different vibes. You feel me? Yeah, I'm very versatile, so don't like. You probably hear two songs from me and be like, damn, I like them too, but. These two don't sound nothing like these two, you know. It, it's two different genres, you feel me? So I just be kicking that shit. Already. So, so uh, who 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 would you like to work with? Uh, who, is it anybody on this project, or is it just you? 
No rappers, just me. Who would you no like to? No rappers, it could be a singer. Uh, no singers, <laughs> no rappers. So, me. And I like that. I like that though. But if it's anybody that, well, maybe the next project will get a feature or something. Oh yeah, for sure. Okay. I got some features. With, I got songs with niggas. I just ain't put them out yet. Why? For cause I'm I'm working on music right now. I just it's all about music. Yeah, I mean, I just got out like I just got out six months ago, you know. And I'm I I've been at home for like at my house, like in my house for like what three months now. I was in the halfway house the rest of the time. So. Yeah, you so you said that song that came through that was about your wife. Yes, ma'am. So give me some insight into that song. Tell me what's about Kiara. Yeah, I got a song called Kiara on the tape. Um, we 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 um uh, us as rappers like we we glorify a lot of shit you know and me being who I am today like the man that I am today like if I'm gonna glorify anything it's gonna be two things two two situations and that's God and my wife you feel me so I just and again I didn't write it so none of this music so the day that I went to the studio on this particular song when I heard the beat it automatically called my name you feel me so. When we press record, it was it was it was natural. It was a natural feeling. It was very exciting. It was a very happy moment for for everybody in the studio because it wasn't it wasn't a dull moment. You feel me? And it was very natural. So you know everything that came out, it was very easy. It it it, it, it wasn't a hassle. You feel me? Was she in there when you did it? Nah. When she heard it for the first time, what was her reaction? I don't know. I wasn't there, but uh, my uh, my boy was there. I had sent it to my boy first, KV. I had sent it to him, and uh, he was at the house. And I guess he tried to wake up. She sleep. He tried to wake up. She don't want to wake up. But then when she finally heard like the song was about her, and he left out the room, she want to wake up and hear the song. And play the song by herself. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like she really don't care about it, but she really do care about it. Now, if I, if you ask her where that song get on her phone, anywhere. It's a, it's a ringtone now. She I don't know how she got a ringtone on the iPhone, but she got a whole ringtone on the iPhone. It's Kiara. <laughs> Swear to God. She T- cares. That's good, though. Tell me about Homicide. Homicide is, uh, just just talk about my hood, like East Dallas, you know, growing up in East Dallas, what I seen, what I'm going through, you feel me? So just put it on, put it on wax. It's very deep. It's a, it's a deep song, you know. You can ride to it. Wow, and and so what inspired the who produced it? Schaefer. Schaefer. Yeah, Did he produce Schaefer. all the songs or? Yeah. He went down through there. Yeah. So I won't ask you that again. Yeah, man. Schaefer, Schaefer the Schaefer, Schaefer right that there. guy, huh? Yeah, Schaefer the Schaefer the shelf for sure. Man, for a person, for a person who said, like you said earlier, that you always put everything that you go through in your music, right? What would you say about those kids out here who's doing street stuff and putting all that in their music when, you know, feds, cops, and everybody watching and they, you know, they use that against them? What do you say to those people? You got you to gotta know what you're doing. You got to be prepared for what you're rapping about, you know? You got to know what you rap about is going to be used against you one day, you know? Whether if it's in court or with your partners or whatever the fuck, you know, especially if you're really living like that. Because I was one of those, you know what I'm saying? When I went to federal court, my music was played. My music was in the evidence. Pictures was in evidence. Uh, pictures that they took was in evidence, you know? So if you're really living with what you're rapping, best believe they come in. They're going to ask you about it. So did you ever feel like, dang, I shouldn't have put it in the song? When it was too late, yeah. <laughs> yeah, when I was already like, uh, matter of fact, I remember the date too. I was leaving from court and... Uh, my lawyer came and told me like, hey, you know that song you got called, um, I can't get caught. I was like, yeah, he was like, uh, they know all about it. I was like, what the fuck, you feel me, for what? You know, so when I got back to the precinct, I had called, I had called baby, like, man, they talking about, she like, I told you how to do that devil ass shit, <laughs> But the song had a lot of stuff in it, yeah, that it had to do with your whole, and, your whole case. And, 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 and you was like, damn, I feel like I shouldn't have done that damn song. I mean, at the time, I wasn't thinking of it because I was only just doing music. You feel what I'm saying? But, you know, when the feds came and the shit got to going down, hey, yeah. If I that's the it. case, then you should believe in the fact that what you speak out here into the world, that it has power. 
So yes. what energy you put out into your music, that's what you can come back and get you. I, I learned, I learned, I know that now. Back then, I didn't know that. You know, back then, with me rapping, everything that I rapped about then, I used to always say, like, I know I'm going to go to the feds. I know I'm going to be like my uncles, my Uncle Jeff and my so Uncle So you Ray. accepted it? My, I already knew this. You feel what I'm saying? So when I rapped about it, I did it. I, what's the word like not knowing like subconsciously subcon subconsciously rapping about my you know what I'm doing not knowing that yeah. it's it's in my future you feel what I'm saying mm -hmm. so when it did come and I'm sober I'm in the cell and I and I got enough knowledge to realize like damn I spoke this shit over myself you feel me if I was if I was rapping about different shit different shit probably would have happened. You said when you were sober, so that I mean when you were doing all these music and all of that, you weren't sober during that time, nah. so you weren't able to really think it through. Uh, I'm, I'm high, you know, shit. When you finally sit down in that cell and it's cold, you feel me, just you by yourself, you know, you get that time. And that's when I really came to knowledge, you know, like, damn, I spoke everything that's going on right now, I spoke this shit up on myself. Mm. You feel me? So when niggas shoot videos and caskets and, and churches and wow. shit, like that, and I see that I don't do that type of shit That's because crazy. I know like me getting in that casket, acting like I'm dead. You feel me? Shit, it'll be around the corner. You feel me? Wow. So I don't do that type of shit. I don't talk about me dying. I don't. I don't. I don't rap about me. Nah, hell, nah. I don't eat now. If you, if you, once you listen to my music, you won't hear me say like, oh yeah, shit. I know them hoes watching. Now nah, we ain't doing none of that. Superstar. Nah. Uh, Superstar is different. It's a it's a rock star song. You feel me? Uh, that one just came naturally. I'm gonna be honest. Like Schaefer, he he worked the guitar. You feel me? So, shit, he was kicking some shit with the guitar. And shit, that one just happened. That was just like magic. I ain't even gonna lie. Like that shit just happened. It was just like it was meant to be. That was a song that meant that was supposed to be on Earth. It just happened like that. That fast. Damn it. Really? Man, superstar, man, that thing, it better be everything that I hoped it would be, superstar. Mm -hmm. Because you make it sound like all of them just came to you so easily. Which one of the songs was your most difficult song to do? Uh, mm, I, I would say Dizzy. Why? Because my little boy on it, he don't, he don't, he, it's his first time rapping, right? How you know? old is he? Uh, I think Diz Dizzy 12, no, Dizzy 10. Okay. Dizzy 10. So we put Dizzy on the track, and like me coming from cussing and, you know, shit like that with him being so so young, it's like I can't put you out there to the world like that. You feel me? And this, I'm, I'm thinking about making this my first artist. You feel what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So when we get him in the studio, it went from being scared to being excited. You feel me? So I'm, I'm, I gotta teach him like, hey, how to punch in, how to say this when this come on. Ooh, ooh. So I'm, I'm working myself, but I'm actually working with him too at the same time. A person who ain't never worked before. You feel me? So once the song got complete, this where the hard part came in. The song got complete. We playing the song back and back. Everybody listening, it's just jamming. It's hot. It's hot. So we look around. We look at him. We gonna do another song, <laughs> <laughs> bruh. We ain't finna start this. We ain't started. <laughs> hey, hey, you got your one song. That's it. You feel me? You yeah. on the music tape? You starting yeah. him? That's what he wants to do now. That's where the hard part came, man. We couldn't keep him. We couldn't sit him down. Not the rest of the night. He won't get on everybody's song. He won't record back to back. So other than that, it was pretty much an easy process. I've been waiting on this for a long time, you know. So. I was ready for it. That's real, man. I was ready for so, it. So, um, man, I got to get ready for my freestyle. I'm ready for that. <laughs> we ain't freestyling today. Yeah, bro. Quit trying We're not freestyling today. See how he at, man? He don't want to do no, no freestyle. Freestyle Kara song, because, you know, she loved that over there. <laughs> <laughs> she over there smiling, you know. I want to see her blush. She, she be over there. Uh, yeah. yeah. She too. I mean, now, nah, you know, one of the things I do value is, man, the, the fact that how how often are you gonna do projects? Cause you gotta have more. Mm -hmm. Like next exactly. year, how many how many you gonna do? Well, like you twenty twenty three, we should know how many we got coming. It gotta be a lot of them, bro. I'm gonna try to catch out again, um, December, cause my birthday December thirtieth. Okay. So I want to drop okay. some on my birthday. Feel me? Um, but as far as the next year, uh, I'm ball hogging. I'm gonna keep it real. Like 
I ain't gonna pass the bar at all. You gonna keep, so, keep it on their neck? Yeah, I got to. You know, I'm, I'm home. I'm good now. I'm straight. I'm on my feet. So it's time to get the ball rolling. Make sure. Yeah, we finna. Hey, and I want to. I want to thank y'all too, man. I like y'all, man. Why? Y'all not like most bloggers and we shit. We just like be that, kicking man. it. You know, a lot of people do a lot of fake ass shit. You know, they go on a lot of blog sites, man. Say a lot of gay ass shit. You know, try to <laughs> act like they got evidence and all this on type of old bitch ass shit. You feel me? A lot of niggas do a lot of gay ass shit, man. I just want to say, man. Yeah. You know, I be watching y'all, man. I might not like y'all <laughs> posts or nothing like that, man. But I be watching y'all, man. I just be watching the Why you don't be liking it? Uh, cause, cause my finger just won't let me press the heart. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? I just can't press it, but I be like, ah, look at Miss Jamaica, look at my we boy. You feel me? Y'all be in that. The comment. A comment. All right, the I fire should. emojis he can do. But y'all be having some bitch ass niggas on here. Oh, man. So I, be, I, be, I be, you know, I be liking y'all when y'all questions, but I be like, why they ask that whole ass nigga that question? They should have asked me that question. You feel me? Man, we just happy you know, that you still come spend time with us, bro. That's man, all. Friend, I'm going to be real. Like, like, we I'm just, I appreciate it, man. Like I said, we come in this game, man, not really understanding what it was going to be. Yeah. We just doing us. We've mm -hmm. been here doing business, but to just come in and be able to get y'all to embrace us like that. That's love, bro. Yeah, so sure. I don't. I, I stay humble by it. You know what I'm saying? We need this though. We need this because a lot of shit like can be misunderstood, and that's yeah. why people come to places like this and you know they talk. You know? Yeah, you seen Chief? I know you seen Chief over here. Chief is over here cutting up. Chief yeah. out of control. <laughs> Chief out of fucking control. Chief, <laughs> Chief, Chief do you agree control. with Chief? Or do you agree? Yeah, like, yeah, agree like, like people Chief. are saying that Chief shouldn't rap. He too old. They saying a lot of people too old mm -hmm. to be rapping. Huh. So like they, all the legends need to sit down and get a label. Get a label, help these youngsters come up. Nah, <laughs> nigga, help your motherfucking self. Nigga, what the fuck he gotta help you fuck? Get off your own ass, get your own bag, get your own cash. Nigga, fuck you mean. You know what I'm saying? He gotta get a label. Nigga, get your own label. Nigga, <laughs> or even if you don't get a label, but actually educate a lot of these young kids because they have a lot of people who see you doing what you're doing, never did music but want to do music don't know the first thing about it end up in bad deals all of that but if you reach down tell somebody don't do this don't do that learn from my mistakes you know what i mean yeah we have these platforms now where we're asking those questions and it's out there so people can see on youtube if they do their research and hear the answers and not actually meet you face to face but back then you didn't have that so it's just the same thing academics was talking about too just helping the people coming up after you. You know what I mean? For sure, but but how could you ask that? I mean, did you listen to that person's music? That's a question I would ask. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So how you gonna ask this man for help you ain't listen to his music? How you know he not telling you what to do in his music? He not drop, he greeted 17, 18, 19. He telling you how the fuck to get money. He telling you what to do. You don't want not listening. I didn't even think about that. He go to the studio every night. Every night. And rap what the fuck he live, what the fuck he go through, what the fuck he, you know, his downs, his ups. You not taking the time out to say, man, let me listen to what you talking about. You feel me? How can I? He on, it. Everybody know his name. Why would I not listen to him? Wow. You feel me? Okay, Dude. yeah, Chief said don't do this. Chief said grind like this, hustle like that. Yeah, you might get like this. Hey, this might happen. So be, you know, and take that, digest it, go about your day. But... He got he a whole ass nigga cause he ain't got no label, he ain't giving you no game. Is I don't he, understand that. Is Chief a legend? Yes, he is. In the city? Definitely. He put enough work in. Definitely, most definitely. From, and then this another thing. Most pe mo rappers, rappers already got a crazy job as being rappers, you feel me? But when you're a rapper and a street nigga, you feel me? Like a real street nigga, when you you know, before the rap, you know, we was really jacking. We was really finessing shit. We, we, we hit a couple of niggas for some bricks, you feel me? A lot of niggas looking for a nigga. So I got to deal with this on top of the rap shit. Wow. It's crazy. What is you it? What does it take to be a legend in your eyes? You got to put the work in on both ends of the board. You can't just wake up one day and be a hot rapper and say, oh, I'm a legend. You feel me? You a legend in the music? That's cool. Congratulations. But it's different when you're... Real, real. You gotta put in like 10, 20 years. Real, real. I, I wouldn't say that. You feel me? But yeah, somewhere mm -hmm. close. 19. Do you. When you see stuff like at Big T, two, three niggas shot up, and was it like that before you went? 
I mean, I remember somebody did shoot at somebody, but to see what I seen that day, met we was in our, uh, Atlanta, mm-hmm. and we come back, I'm like, they sending me these pictures, I'm like, I can't believe that these niggas really wilding out in there like that. Is it turned different than it was before you left? Ah, uh, it was getting, it was from the head to that point. Where it is right now, I seen it. I seen it like, before I left, I was like, oh yeah, in a couple years, this shit gonna be wild. You feel me? I seen it. I think people are getting more bold. That's the thing, because every time I pick up, I don't watch the news anymore, but the news is on my phone, the news app. And not only in Texas, but I've seen where um, people, broad daylight, walking up to people and shooting them, like out in public, don't care who around, whatever. Back in the days, it they'll wait till nighttime, they'll go do this. You won't know who did it. But now they don't care. It's the It's the... And it's sad to say that it is the music. You feel what I'm saying? Because you got a lot of niggas out here who ain't never did this shit, and it's so easy to go to the studio and see it because they don't they don't, they don't give a fuck. You feel what I'm saying? They don't care. Yeah, nigga, kill that nigga, spin on that shit. You feel me? Because they don't, they don't. They ain't never been through nothing. Instead of, you know, the real one, you, when you got niggas like Chief and you got niggas like Trap and you got niggas like Yellow and you got niggas like Ziddy Wayne and Levi mm-hmm. Cartier and Mises, you feel me? They gotta who, choose who they listen to. You feel me? Who actually can tell a nigga on the microphone, say, I just left that way, you feel me? That shit mm-hmm. is serious. Niggas dying every day in that bitch. Don't do that shit, you feel me? Mm-hmm. You know, so, but. But you talking about in the music, but a lot of people would say it's also in them video games that you talking about playing earlier. Uh, Mortal Kombat ain't gonna hurt nobody. <laughs> Now, the, what is that Grand Theft Auto and all of that sort of stuff? I don't get that. People far. was talking about those. I'm too. not. I'm not far in the games like that. I just play one game. That's all I can do. I can't play Madden. I can't play none of the extra shit. I don't do that. I just play Mortal Kombat. That's all I can do. I just fight. As far as in the Grand Theft Auto and shit like that, nah, that's for gamers. I'm not a gamer. Oh, okay. I'm just a stress reliever person. You feel me? I can't smoke no weed, so I do that shit. But yeah. I feel like if, if if people would listen to music and digest it and understand both sides, you know, of the fence, then they'll make the right choice. But if you don't make if you don't understand if you don't know both sides of the fence, you you bound to crash. You're gonna do some dumb shit in broad daylight and then get a life sentence. Now you fuck. How up. hard is it for you to punch in without smoking weed? Because a lot of musicians, a lot of artists, always feel like they gotta be either drinking, smoking, got to have their honeys around, they got to this, that, to get a vibe to be able to produce. Vibes is real. Vibes is real. But I'm a natural, you feel me? I can do it under pressure. I like pressure. One thing about me, I'm cold under yeah, pressure. Let me get that freestyle yeah. in, nigga. You ain't get a freestyle. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Well, that's pressure. Nah, nah, you saying? I'm cold under pressure. I love pressure, you know. So me, it was, it was, you know, I could do it. But as far as in speaking on artists, like, Having a good vibe is is a key to make a good music because you can fuck up a nigga vibe and fuck up a nigga whole song. You feel mm-hmm. me? And that should have pissed a nigga off too. Like for real, damn, I'm riding. Damn, that done fucked me up. You feel me? So you gotta have a good vibe for sure. Who you liking? You liking Big X the plug in the city? Yeah, I want to tap in with him. I like X, man. You feel me? It's a big need, nigga. They just need to come fuck with that music shit, man. Turn that boy up. You think so, y'all gonna do something special together? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Already, um, he don't give me no freestyle this time. Yeah. You see how he do me, man? Mm-hmm. Damn, man. We on boss talk, talking to a boss. That's it. Yeah, let's get that. Oh, let's ah. get that over, man. Nah, 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 I'm, nah, I'm gonna I'm let you make it. I, I see he, he's he's persistent. So <laughs> I think we talked about. Is it? Any, did we forget about? I know we didn't name all of the songs, but is there, is there any other song that you want to talk about on this on this uh, project? Uh I oh, got homicide. I, I, I know it's one. I I know. Uh, I got a song on her about uh, about three. You feel me? Because okay. it's a lot of shit that people don't like. People interview me every day or try to interview me every day. Or, you know, try to pay and shit to get to like, you know, the back or oh, what the fuck really happened. That type of shit, and that shit really be gay to me because I don't, I, don't, I don't get down like that. You feel well, I didn't mean? ask you about it because I, I, out of respect, I know you know y'all have a past, and it's something that we we talk about it with everybody to be honest sure. with you. But because of when we first talked, 
uh, when I talked to your wife, she was like, nah, you know what I'm saying? Just, yeah. but, and I'm real respectful. Cause a lot of people do that shit and they take that shit and they, and they be messy with it. You feel me? Or they, yeah. they be on bitch ass shit with it when, when they not understanding that this was once upon a time, like, uh, like once upon a time, some real street shit going on. You feel me? He couldn't, he, niggas, it was real. Let's just say that. You feel what I'm saying? So, with them coming to interview me and asking about some shit that could get me in prison, mm-hmm. you know, and I'm on camera with this shit, like, you know, for what? If it man, ain't no price tag big enough for me to give you what the fuck was really going on. You but it's your choice. So Nobody can't getting... make you talk. It's up to you to exactly. say whatever you want to say. Exactly. But sometimes you can piss me off and I and I and I give you and I give you amazing. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Cause on these cameras or behind these microphones, people be trying to be, you know, you know, the right way. You feel what I'm saying? And I'm not all the way there yet, Mr. Mike. I'm gonna keep it real. Everybody, not, everybody's a work in progress. There's nobody that's all the way there yet. You feel me? And so a lot of these niggas be trying to, you know, ruffle my feathers. Mm-hmm. And I be one I be ready for them to ruffle my shit. If just I, if think of all the things that you have to lose. You feel me? So but that's why I made the so, song, you know, to help him understand. That's good. What the fuck going on between What's the name I can't of the song? wait to hear it. It's called I Ain't Mad at You. That's the only one that's really? named. Yeah, he said Friday, all of this coming out. Yeah, Friday. I can't wait. And what time? <laughs> yeah, midnight, 12. Ain't, it, ain't we going in at midnight, right? Midnight. I can't wait. All eyes on me, for sure. Wow. So I think that's going to be a dope thing because you get to, everybody been waiting to hear, hear mm-hmm. what you got to say about that. And that's something that. I think it's gonna be something that people need to need. You know, it it helps, man, to talk about stuff. I'm telling you, you know that. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So it, it's I, just on your time. You know, a lot of a lot of people do that shit for the wrong reason. You mm-hmm. feel me? Like they doing shit for the for the views or the likes or to piss people off. You feel what I'm saying? Nah, this ain't what the fuck going on. So so why why would I get on camera and do the lame shit when I if it's real, it'll be done the right way. Is the, so. is the generation we're in, the negativity sells. That's how people get views. So that's why a lot of people end up pushing all that. I remember when we started this, we always just wanted to just do everything positive. But we remember we started getting some slack for, flack for, you know, some negativity. But it wasn't from our part. It's just people saying certain things. For sure. But we realize there's a yin and yang to everything, you know. For sure. For so sure. you can't just always be all positive. You know what I mean? Yeah. And be all negative. Right. I mean, and that's why I, that's why I say I like y'all shit. You feel me? Cause it's not just a whole bunch of bullshit coming on. A lot of niggas gossiping like hoes or something. You know? And nah, it's it's from the front door you gonna have a laugh. You feel me? <laughs> Believe that. You know what I'm saying? So you know, and doing this right here and actually being able to talk about some shit and get it out the right way, that's the best thing possible. And I I feel like that's, that's what y'all in it for. You feel yeah. me? So I like this shit for real. We getting better too. We grow with everything we do. You know what I mean? Like yeah. when we first came on, we definitely tried to keep it just all the way positive and tried. And people would come in and say whatever. And then I can't let this person say something. Don't let the other one say. It be like that. Like come yeah. on, man. But see, that's the whole shit about it. Like I seen some of y'all interview. I can come on here right now and crush a lot of niggas that came on the same microphone you feel yeah me? yeah but for what i ain't got time for that that ain't what, what the fuck i'm finna do but you, you got good me? music man but you got good music you got you got a lot of stuff that you trying to accomplish and at the end of the day i think it's a build-up you know what i mean like say say 2023 when you come up this project after your right after your birthday and all that there should be something else special that you're creating you know what i'm saying sure. all of these things are stepping stones man to, that really should help educate somebody younger than you, that 10-year-old you was just talking about, so, to where he can see, man, my pops did it this way. I'm fit to do it. And then next thing you know, he going to do it, exactly. and it's going down. You know what I'm saying, right? Yeah, so that's, that's what, what it's started. really all about, man. Show. Man, we love show. you, Measy, man. Yeah, yeah, For real, man. bro. Going to Measy in the building, y'all. Lost y'all, out. we did it again, nigga. And he didn't rap for me, but nigga, he coming back, nigga. <laughs> I would have rapped for him, but he forgot. He owed me $5. I bought him a chicken sandwich. Oh, I bought him a chicken sandwich. I was up here. <laughs> Last time I was up here, I bought the no, nigga. Man. I bought hey. the nigga the the the, uh, the chicken sandwich from the uh, Popeye. <laughs> the nigga ain't gave me my five dollars back. The nigga so said, "I want hey, my five. Hey, the nigga said you gonna do a boss talk song for us and send it back to me too, y'all. So be on the okay. lookout for that. Big bet. He gonna throw me something back so I can rock this boss talk. Cause see, my boy out of Miami gave me this one. This ain't nothing but some boss talk. 
Yeah, yeah. Shout, shout out to Shout, man. Out of Atlanta, Florida. Out of Atlanta, or is he from? He from? He from, he from Florida, but he live in Atlanta now. Okay. It's a demand. It's hard. Yeah. You gotta give me one, baby. I got this at the kitchen. I like the fur one better. Oh, yeah, girl. See, a lot of yeah, people like that. Like XO. 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 Like that one hot, though. I ain't gonna lie. That one hot. That one right there. That one different. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's a signature. Got that, that's it. Everybody love that one. Yeah. I think that's why ain't nobody said yeah, we nobody scared to go up against that. They scared to go up against that. You ain't heard the whole thing. She go in. That shit sound like Pete Valley finna come on. This nigga big shit. Big shit. Big shit. Name another podcast like this. She ain't the whole song. We gonna bring it to the table. That's dope. That's it. That's the one. You don't need no more. That's what I said. I just catch this one. You feel me? I grab a verse on this one. Yeah, we came from the show. You don't need no more. Do a remix with it. That beat. I'm gonna let two or three rounds get on that old one. We just gonna go down through that one. Who's hot? Who's not? Who really on top? I need to set up a microphone right here and give him the beat. Yeah, boss talk. That's a freestyle. You gotta go out for him. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Name another podcast. I like this. Give my five dollars, nigga. I need my five dollars. Don't let me get a boss talk. You know what's going on. All eyes on me. The tellers nigga give me five dollars. Hey, man. Another great segment of boss talk. One of my five. One of the bosses talk. Oh, yeah.